A lot of big things happened in Louisville in 2023. It was a year of remarkable growth and continued success as some long-range plans came to fruition and several big projects earned state and national recognition. The Parks and Recreation Department thrived last year. See what I did there? Earning CAPRA certification, becoming one of only 206 agencies in the country with that honor. The Healthy Infrastructure Plan was adopted and earned the 2023 Clyde Award in Public Policy and Planning and the American Planning Association Texas Chapter's Gold Level Achievement Award in Environmental Planning. It's not just about building a park, right? It's about, oh man, here I go again. We broke ground on Glory Park, Parque La Gloria, on Southwest Parkway. It'll serve more than 10,000 Louisville residents and further supports the city's commitment to the 10 minute walk to a park initiative. Parks earned the Administration Management Excellence Award from TRAPS for community outreach for this park. The new Lake Park Master Plan was adopted. It's an exciting plan that'll enhance visitors' experience at Lake Park and generate a significant economic boost for Louisville. While this is all in the design phase, all I'm gonna say is yurt. It's now on to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for approval. The newly converted Old Town Splash Park opened at Wayne Frady Park. Parks earned the Recreation Facility Design Excellence Award from Traps North Texas for this project. Thrive earned the Recreation Facility Design Excellence Award from Traps. This award recognizes one facility project each year that displays a high degree of professional design quality and recreational usage. The remodeled Frederick P. Herring Parks and Recreation Center opened as the new home of PARD admin and rental space for sports programs. This renovation revitalized a building that's been operated by the city since 1982. <laughs> renovation of the Hedrick House was completed in late 23, returning it to its glorious 1962 mid-century modern design. The ribbon cutting ceremony was held earlier this month and it's once again available for public rental. Man, Parks did a lot last year. The American Planning Association Texas Chapter named Old Town one of the six great places in Texas. Several major projects opened or neared completion during 2023 in the heart of Louisville, and several other exciting projects are expected to begin here in 24. Construction of the Tittle McFadden Public Safety Center is steadily progressing. This state-of-the-art facility marks a significant investment in our community's safety. Yeah, we have a building underneath another building, which is very unusual. The 116,000 square foot facility is on schedule to open in early 2025. It will house police admin, fire admin, fire station number one, and a hardened emergency operations center. And while technically not a 2023 accomplishment, the Arts Board recently selected the piece of public art that will grace the front of the building. Blessing Hancock was chosen from a nationwide search. The piece will change colors and have words carved into the sculpture. Those words will be provided by staff and community members. To secure my appointment. To secure my appointment. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. We hired a new chief of police. Brooke Rollins came to LPD after spending 21 years with the Arlington Police Department. He assumed command from Chief Deaver, who retired after 35 years in law enforcement, 25 with LPD. This was the first time the Chief of Police has been hired from outside the department since the 1970s. This center is an investment by the city in Louisville's future. The opening of Serve Louisville has streamlined access to vital services for those in need, fostering a more collaborative and responsive city government. Located on Edmonds Lane, this facility houses multiple nonprofits in one location to address critical needs. Christopher Bernal, these ideas were so creative and we were uh, just in love with them, so we brought him on board to do the project. Serve Louisville also is home to one of the newest pieces of public art called We Are Louisville. Award winning photographer Christopher Bernali created the large multicolor three panel piece of art to celebrate the residents and community of Louisville. Our community is so grateful to the city of Louisville because 
of this sculpture. At the end of 2023, we dedicated Lung Thong, the newest piece of public art that celebrates Louisville's Chin community. The sculpture features a large stone bench portraying a mother, father, and infant, and three smaller side benches. For those of you that don't know, Louisville is home to approximately 5,000 Chin residents, the second largest Chin population in the United States behind Indianapolis. And just last week, Lung Thong won first place for the City Cultural Diversity Award at the National League of Cities. We also earned the Arts and Entertainment Award from the DFW Directors Association for our Painted Crosswalk Public Art Program. There are six individually designed and brightly colored crosswalks throughout the city, mostly near schools and within the walking and biking trail system. And I'll call it a work of art. We earned the Silver Davy Award for Corporate Identity Design and Print Collateral for the 2022 Annual Report, which I know all of you read cover to cover. Good news, I'll be signing copies of this year's report during the lunch break. Three, two, one. Open the door. The much needed new facilities and fleet maintenance building opened in March of 23. Crossland Construction Company earned the best contractor award from the American Public Works Association for this building. And Fleet earned the Gold Level Recognition Award from DFW Clean Cities for its fuel savings and pollution reducing efforts in fleet vehicles. This was the fourth consecutive year we've won the Gold Level Award. Here's a few more awards to note. Louisville Municipal Court earned the 2023 Municipal Traffic Safety Initiative Award for medium volume courts for its outreach efforts to promote greater traffic safety. Finance earned the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting, the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, and the Achievement of Excellence in Procurement. The city earned the Diversity First Corporate Leadership Award from the Texas Diversity Council for its dedication to fostering an inclusive environment that empowers and uplifts all. The city also earned the United Way of Denton County 2023 Pace Setter Award. Since you've made it this far, you deserve a little payoff. So let's revisit the pie in the face event from the employee picnic. Congratulations to all on their hard work in 2023 and here's to a banner year in 2024.